www.ysv.com.
thank you for being my wife. Thank you for being the mother of our children. Thank you to thank you for being on this journey um, that we've been on together in discovering who we are as African people and embracing that and loving that and, and uh, being an example to our children, to our community. Um, and the things that we do for our community, standing with me uh, through the struggle and, and, and the resistance to um, the challenges that life that has brought to our community. And so you're the truest essence that I could think of of being a partner, my life partner, my friend. Who would have thought that keeping a promise to a little girl would have brought us where we are today? In the spirit of keeping In the spirit of keeping a promise, I walked into a fairly crowded sanctuary, but I only saw you. Welcome to Light and Life, you said. Is this your first time? The exchange was only a moment, but it was long enough for our souls to connect to its mate. The walls I built to protect my heart was no match for your ram of love, kindness, understanding, and patience. One by one, you broke those walls, leaving me bare and vulnerable with every scar, every fault, and every imperfection exposed. Yet, you continue to love me, allowing me to see only you. For better or worse, those were the vows we took. Those words were tested, but here we stand stronger and more committed than we have ever been. As I stand here before you in the presence of the Creator, the spirit of our ancestors, and our family and friends, I once again pledge myself to you. I promise to love you unconditionally, to respect and to honor you always. I'll repeat that. I promise to love you unconditionally, to respect and to honor you always. I promise to stand with you through the most difficult times, to listen when you need an ear. I promise to dream and build with you, to be your biggest cheerleader and to encourage you. I promise to share in your laughter and happiness. I promise to be your safe place. I promise to be your safe place. I promise to be your safe place. To the um, cleansing of feet, feet washing ritual and vow exchange, and the washing of each other feet symbolizes humility and commitment to each other. I know in Bible times that Jesus washed disciples' feet, and um, it also symbolized their equal status in their marriage. They both lead and follow at different times, and that's amazing.